yesterday uh, we celebrated uh, the 9th of May celebration, the declaration of Schumann, hmm? uh, which started and initiated, I would say, the long process of the uh, European integration, hmm? first economics and now with the European Union. What I think is the major, I would say, gift that we eh, as Europeans internally and externally has given is, and we should not forget, we came out of the Second World War. Eh, devastating consequences, uh, France and Germany were, were enemies for the first time uh, through Schumann, de Gasperi, a number of other uh, leaders, uh, also Paul-Henri Spark and so on. We, eh, the Europeans, proposed a very specific project of peace. We should not forget, and that's, I think, the major gift that we gave. We have created an, environmental of, an environment of peace within our European territory. Never war again. Although that has been an, um, a long process. We started, we started with economics because it's easier to find common understanding. And we started with the European economic uh, integration with the Treaty of Rome in 1957. And that has been a success to a certain extent, certainly from an economic point of view. But, as we all know, things have changed drastically over this period of 69 uh, countries. Challenges has been uh, increasing, also the international, political, economic context. So there has been a step-by-step gradual approach. First economics and this economic integration resulted finally in the next momentum, hmm? Treaty of Maastricht 92, where we moved from a, uh, a European mainly exclusive economic integration to a European Union. And there for the first time, even in international relations, we introduced Con, uh, articles, uh, policies beyond the economic dimension. We even institutionalized in a legal context the statute of European citizenship. Meaning that we, uh, uh, as a member of a member state, automatically come, become also a European citizenship. So we created not only peace, but we tried to create a joint peaceful, constructive environment within the European terms. Of course, we should, and that has also been a second element, not, not only internally, externally, Europe has tried to develop its own external policy, common security and foreign policy. That took a little bit longer, but it's much more difficult to find common agreements hmm, on security and political sensitivity to I would see the external world. But we also there, we have, I would say, uh, developed step by step uh, to first a kind of political cooperation internally, a little bit externally. Now we have, uh, certainly with Federico, uh, Federico Mogherini, the Vice President, Commissioner for Responsible Security and Foreign Policy, we have a global strategy where we have, I would say, agreements with our partners outside of the European Union, uh, also there, not only commercial, not only economic, but in certain cases also, I would say, some uh, agreements on other specific areas. Uh, everything, and that we should uh, always uh, remember, it is a contextualized gift internally, externally. We have to deal with differences. And there, okay, the slogan of the European Union is a, mm, unity in diversity, internally, externally. So that means you have to make policies, decision makers in an environment which is uh, changing dramast dramatically, which is uh, transform, uh, which it has a lot of transformation in different areas. So it's a big challenge. And Europe becomes a global player in the world with all the consequences attached. Uh, very recently we have uh, more, put much more focus on human rights. Hmm? Uh, the um, European Union is, a, uh, I would say, is a global actor which is trying to uh, see in all its agreements, 
also in China, uh, the respect for, for human rights. So, uh, just to conclude uh, this very brief, uh, yes, a gift because we have created peace uh, with all the difficulties attached to that. Uh, European peoples live. Uh, we have, and uh, that's also an, a last important point, we have increased this uh, peaceful environment in Europe, not only hmm, starting with the six original uh, countries, Benelux, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, France and, uh, and Germany, no, there are 28, probably 27 countries which are part of this alliance, which is a community of values. And that is, I would say, the conclusive remark. It's a gift because we have, we are trying to create internally and exter uh, externally a Europe which is a community based on a number of values, respect for human rights, human dignity. And I think I will conclude with that, just as a brief, I would say, uh, because a lot of things can be, uh, be, be added, but it's not, uh, I would say, time. So.